Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a good old fashioned anti-haul. Anti-haul, anti-haul, however you say it. I'm just gonna sit here and scroll through Trend Mood's Instagram page and talk to you guys about all the makeup that I am not going to be buying. Now, from what I understand, these types of videos were started by a YouTuber named Kimberly Clark, and they have become very popular in the YouTube beauty sphere. So I'm excited to do one. Now, I do just wanna say that anything that I say about products in this video are not meant to be offensive or overly critical or mean or anything like that. It's just my opinion. If I think it's worth my money, worth my time, and I just wanna have like a chill, good time. Good vibes only, please, please. Anyways, if you're new here, my name's Haley. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, usually, to hang out and play with makeup. So I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel before you go and giving this video a thumbs up if you like it. It helps me out a lot. And if you're a returning viewer, or subscriber, what's up? I'm so glad you're here, I'm so glad you're back, and I'm so excited to talk about some makeup that we won't be buying <laughs> with you today. Really quickly, to like my regulars, I do just wanna say, I am kind of late getting this video up. I normally post Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This is gonna go up on a Saturday. I, to be honest, made a video that I just did not like and did not wanna post, so I didn't. <laughs> but I just wanted to let you know, in case anybody was sitting there Friday, like, uh, Haley, here's the video. Thank you for your patience. Let's go talk about makeup, shall we? <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna be scrolling through Trend Mood's page. If you don't follow Trend Mood on Instagram, basically she is the person to go to for all the tea on new makeup releases. That's like what she does. She also has a page called Trend Mood Deals where she posts all of the current like sales and deals and promotions and things that are going on. So you can follow her there too. So it's just a really handy page if you're like a makeup lover like myself. So ColourPop just released a new collection. Shocking, right? I guess they're calling this the Celestial Collection. Although they release new makeup all the time, for whatever reason, I am always like, I always wanna buy it. Like it's something about their, their packaging, their marketing, like the aesthetic that they come up with. It just works and I like it. And also ColourPop is very affordable. So it's not anything that you have to like really think about making an investment for, you know? And I will say that this collection doesn't look all that different from things that they've collected in the, uh, collected? Released in the past. Um, they got two, two eye, eyeshadow palettes, two blushes, and four lip glosses is what it looks like makes up this collection. So it went live on Ulta this morning, actually. I went on there to look at it because I do actually like this one palette, the, I think it's the She's Got Solstice palette. I mean, they're both really cute. Both of the blushes were already sold out within like minutes of it being launched. And I was just like, how many blushes did y'all make? Like five? Why is it selling out so fast? It's blush. I really don't have any interest in their lip glosses because I just have heard people say that they're kind of thick and like yucky and that. Like, I don't need a new, new lip gloss, you know? I don't need a new eyeshadow palette. I don't need a new blush. Not that I could even get the blush anyways because it's sold out. It's a cute collection, which, you know, I don't, ColourPop doesn't really put anything out that's kind of like, uh, right? Like it's always kind of cute, but no, I don't need it. So I will not be purchasing that. So then we have this little Melt Cosmetics Striking Array Potent Yellows. So this looks like a very kind of warm tone palette, which I am not the most like warm toned gal. I kind of like cool tones, pinks, blues, purples. That's kind of more my, my speed. So yellow is not really my vibe. I think like their Muerta whatever palette that they put out like last year, I really liked that little palette duo. I don't remember what they're called. Those were pretty, but I just don't have any interest in like anything else that they put out. And they're expensive. Their palettes are expensive, y'all. It doesn't have the price on here, but it's a, I know it's at least like 40 something dollars. Like if not 50, it's, they're expensive. Nope, 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 not gonna get that. No, thank you. Ugh, okay, so Charlotte Tilbury's got some new stuff coming out. Looks like a magic serum, 
magic lip oil and a magic cream lightweight miracle moisturizer. There aren't any prices on here, but I can imagine they cost like $80 a pop probably. Like Charlotte Tilbury is crazy expensive. I, I, I did see those little quad palettes that she put out some time ago, and I thought about getting one of those. But they're, I mean, they're like $50 each. So $50 for four eyeshadows? Yeah. No, no thank you, no thank you. Thank you so much, but no thank you. So another YouTuber that does these type of videos, Smoky Glow, I don't know if you watch her channel or not. If you don't, you should. She's very funny and very interesting, but she does these, she calls them yas or pass. <laughs> she talks about like brands and like things that she doesn't like about those brands. And she makes a very valid point about Benefit Cosmetics. Benefit just kind of takes their same products that have been out for a long time and like repackages them and like makes, you know, varieties of collections with all of the same products. Like they just repackage the same products over and over and over again and they rarely come out with new things. Like they just came out with that Airstick foundation, which is a really nice foundation. And I wanna say all of the products I've ever tried by Benefit have been really nice products, but they are not super creative and innovative in putting out new things. Exhibit A, this, whatever this is, what is this? This is a new mini superstar wardrobe makeup value set. Is there anything in here that Benefit hasn't already had out for a long time? No, these are all products that have existed in Benefit's line forever. And they're just minis put into a thing. And they're selling it for $90, $90 for a bunch of minis. Get the heck out of here with this. Something like this normally wouldn't bother me, but it's just like, benefit, really? <laughs> nope, I'm not gonna get that. <laughs> okay, who else is getting like really tired of Makeup Revolution's crap? First of all, they confuse me, okay? Is it Makeup Revolution, is it Revolution, or is it I Heart Revolution? It's like all three things, but it's like the same brand. It really confuses me. I don't understand it and I wish that they would make up their mind and figure out what they want to call themselves. I'll be honest, when I first saw these like kind of from afar, like scrolling through my phone, I thought that this was Too Faced. <laughs> it's really cute, really cute packaging, cute, like the aesthetic, it's nice. We got these little fruit shaped highlighters, like a peach palette, looks like a peach spray and a mascara, some liquid lipsticks. They just got everything, wow, brow gel, goodness. This, this collection just doesn't appeal to me. If I was gonna get anything from it, I think I might get that little avocado palette just cause I don't really have any like green or like minty kind of shadows. But even that palette, it just doesn't, doesn't do it for me. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't want it. Not, not gonna buy it. This is a palette from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. I guess it's the extra spicy palette. I feel like I've heard of this brand, but I definitely have never tried anything by this brand. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when I see when I saw this, I was kind of like, that's ColourPop, <laughs> right? I know that ColourPop didn't invent like the nine pan, nine round pans in a square palette. Palette? It's probably just because they release so often. I've like associated that aesthetic with ColourPop. So I saw this and I was like, oh, ColourPop's got another uh, product out. It's like reds and yellows and oranges. It's just not my color story. Uh, yep. Nope, no reason for me to buy that for sure. Okay, so looks like, I'm not really sure how this is gonna work because I know Jeffree Star is not able to ship anything right now, but it does look like they've finished that mini controversy that they changed. They like took a shadow out, put a green one back in it and they're gonna re-release it or something. I don't know, both of Jeffree Star's like mini palettes, his little nine pan palettes, He's got like the mini breaker palette and then this mini controversy palette. Neither of the mini palettes like really do it for me. So I don't think that I'll be buying that when it's re-released. I know I got some Jeffree Star fans watching. What do y'all think about that green shadow? Were you glad that they put it back? You kind of like, whatever. Do you already have the mini controversy palette? And are you annoyed that they're re-releasing a different but same mini controversy palette? I guess they did say that they were gonna make it like an individual shadow too. So if you just really want that green shadow, that one green eyeshadow, what else? Ooh, 
Okay, if there was something that I was gonna get, it would be this Sigma palette. This Sigma palette is just beautiful. I guess it's called the Cor de Rosa selection. This palette to me is just beautiful. It's nothing like extraordinary, revolutionary, you know, anything like that. It's like pinks and neutrals kind of a palette, but I just think it's so pretty. It's also a palette that if I had it, I would probably use it quite a bit. If I had it and I liked the shadows. I think it's just a beautiful palette and I would love to have it, but it's $49, so I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> it's just too expensive. Mm. Okay, so Wet n Wild has a new collection that has been spotted in Walmart. It's not yet on their website, I checked. <laughs> but I was in Walmart just the other day and tried to find it and it wasn't in that Walmart. So I don't know how to get it, but it looks like this collection has some new highlighters, like a jelly highlighter, loose highlighting powders, and then some eyeshadow quads. I love a good eyeshadow quad. The only thing about these eyeshadow quads are they, they're so like bright and colorful, which like I do bright and colorful looks on my channel sometimes, but like every day, this is more what I look like. So I love a good quad for something simple like this, but I don't know if these quads would be anything that I would like or use very often. So I don't know, I'm tempted to try it just cause it's like a new collection and I, I like Wet n Wild, but I don't know. And I just don't know where it is or how to get it. So I'm probably not gonna get it. <laughs> so here's another one that made me go, that's ColourPop. This Wonder Woman collection that I guess Revlon is putting out. This is another one that I guess it's been spotted in stores in some places, but I have yet to see it in any of the stores that sell Revlon that I go to. Do y'all have any like favorite Revlon products? Do you have any like ride or die Revlon products? And I'm not talking like a Revlon product that you're like, oh yeah, I like it. It's a, it's a, it's a, yeah. I'm talking like a good product from Revlon. I need some good product recommendations because I have yet to find anything anything from Revlon that I like. And to be fair, I haven't tried a lot of their complexion products like their foundations and powders, but I've tried like some lip products, some eyeshadows. I do have an eyeliner from Revlon, like a liquid felt tip eyeliner that's like okay. But otherwise I just haven't found anything from Revlon that I've ever liked. And this Wonder Woman collection, like it's cute, but I don't know that I want it. I don't know that I like it. And I, I think the answer is that I don't like it and I don't want it. <laughs> it looks like it's got some nail polish as part of the collection, uh, some lip products, a mirror. What's interesting is, is like the whole aesthetic of the collection is very like gold and red, but the palette, it has like a, what looks like a goldish shadow in it, but there's no red. So it's gonna be a pass for me. What I will say is, if this was a ColourPop collection, I would more consider buying it than if it than it being a Revlon product. So, just saying. Oh, this one. This one I would love to have. Really, just for the packaging. To be honest, I really love the packaging on this. This Dulce, Dul, is Dulce. Do you say Dolce or do you say Dulce? I don't know. Dolce and Gabbana. That's what I'm going with. Looks like they've got a couple new products coming out in May. Looks like a compact highlighter and then some like highlighter drops. Highlighter drops I have absolutely no interest in whatsoever at all, any day of the week. No, thank you, I'm good, pass. But the compact is gorgeous. It's so pretty. It says traditional Sicilian design. I love it. I would love to have that compact. It's Dolce & Gabbana, so it's probably really expensive. It's not coming out until May, but oof, that packaging, stunning, stunning. I could just go on and on and on and on and on, just continue scrolling down the Trend Moods page, but that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like these types of videos. I would love to do more. It's so fun to just like sit down and chat about makeup. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll come back and watch another video and hang out with me again very soon. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.